Right, what I've got is a one litre smart car, three cylinder, 16 valve MHD engine, 71 brake. Right, I've took it apart because I'm about to do the head gasket on it and re ring it. Um, but I just wanted to go through the cam chain setup. So if we look at the valve caps, uh, this is on the exhaust left hand side of the engine uh, nearest to the back of the car, if it was still in the car. And you can see that we've got E4. E3, E2, and then the first one, which is the main carry cap. Um, the other side is the um, inlet. So we have I4, I3, I2, and the main carrier cap. Also, notice that there's an arrow on these caps, look, that all point towards the front of the engine to the main crank pulley. What I've done is I've put a, um, a pen in top of piston number one, wound to the top, and then it's a matter of setting up the cam timing with the crank. Now, I've had a look on the internet and I don't see a lot about this, so I've tried to apply some logic. Um, I got my friend over as well to give me a hand, uh, and hopefully together we've fathomed it out. So if you look at this link here, it's blue. Yeah, and the same on the other side here. This one's blue. And then the same at the bottom. This one's blue. So, if you notice, on the actual crank pulley, there's a dot there, which should be as near as damn it to that, but there's also two taper sides either side. So I'll try and keep them as much vertical as possible. Um, and then there's this one here that is actually on the, the actual gear. So what you have to do is line that blue one there up to that one with the dot on it. Sorry, I'm going to try and get another torch to give you a bit more because hopefully you can actually see that dot. So there's one on the actual edge there and there's one on the actual gear wheel here. Sorry. So, put the tensioner on, they should all be lined up. Now looking at this top, you can actually see this one here and Hopefully, this one here. So it's a matter of just lining them up. In the book it tends to show these are together. But I'm not 100% sure whether that's correct. They'll probably line up when the tensioners are on. So this is the VVT bit as far as I understand. Which is oil fed from an oil thing at the side. So don't worry about that too much because it should be right as long as the lobes, which I'll show you the lobes, because that's quite important. If you look at the two lobes, you'll notice that they're in the same place. The inlet and the exhaust. And I can't really show you too much, but hopefully you can see that and it gives you a bit of an idea. So like I say, I'm not 100% sure whether this is correct, but it looks to be that way. Now, I've tried this before. I've took this off on purpose because the tension wasn't very good, so I wasn't confident. So I stripped it down again. But I did actually rotate it and have it running, and I've stripped it apart again. So, hopefully, that will help somebody. Try and show you these again, see if I can get a better 
image so that's the blue link again and the blue link again here look so there it is back on again right this is a cam tensioner so you see there's ridges on the top and ridges on that spring loaded pressured um, shim inside so what you can do is push turn it round so it's on the smooth side twist it push it in and then twist it back so the ridges are as seen here so what I'll try and do is film it and try and show you what I'm doing so what you do is you literally push there twist and then you can see there's a hole there what you do is you can push something in like a uh, what I used was a, a rivet to go through that little hole there to hold it until you've actually put it on the casing and then you can literally just pull it out and it will spring out but it won't go back it will only come out and it's also oil fed so push twist pin through there job done there we go so what I've done is pop the rivet through as you can see so it just needs bolting on pull the rivet out and it'll tension up right, what I've done is I've actually preloaded the tensioner again and popped it on just to show you how it will look when it's all back together I've still to tighten the uh, cam chain guides up but you'll see now that hopefully that that lines up with the dot on the blue link and moving back up To give me a light. That one lines up with the dot, and that one lines up on the dot. And now you can actually see that this line and this line in the book are very close. If I was to turn it slightly, I'm sure it would line up. Now, this is the tensioner. What you have to do is turn it so that the ridges are rubbing against the um, smooth side of the tensioner shaft and then twist it, put the pin in and then the teeth should line up so that it goes out to take the tension up but it won't go back, it'll only go outwards as the chain needs tensioning and as it wears. So I'll just try and zoom in a little bit to show you in case hopefully you can possibly see the ridges and just uh, get some more light anyway that's on there that's the tension of sticking out and then all there is to do is just pull that pin out that holds it in, which is what you do when you tighten it up. Sorry, I have to tighten it because when I pull the pin out, I'm going to swap this tensioner anyway, which is uh, one of the reasons I took it apart. So what you do is just pull that, and as you see, tension has gone out, and that's all tensioned up so the chain is all done so make sure you only turn it clockwise otherwise it'll try and ruffle the chain up and then it'll damage it or cause you to redo the timing so hopefully that will help somebody the other thing are that the weird thing is this is obviously all coated in oil there's a seal here that's on rubber seal here that's on the crankcase um, camshaft case cover uh, there's one here and there's also 
one here. So just be careful and make sure they fit, especially on the ones with water, because otherwise you'll have water in your engine. So um, hopefully that's helped somebody. Um, thanks. So I actually got a new tensioner, so I thought I'd just put that on there for you to see. So that's the new tensioner. Um, there's the pin, so it's just a matter of pulling that out. And that's it, all tensioned up. And like I say, it should not go back. It should eventually lock out. And then uh, that should be it, as you can see. So, yeah, that's it. Fingers crossed. Should be okay.